Um, yeah, my name's Kurt. Um, I study drawing at Camberwell. Um, I've enrolled on there this year because I feel like I'm ready to progress to the next stage with my art now. What I really like with the portrait drawings that I do is it, it's about connecting the drawings to the, to the viewer itself. So it's not just about having a, a, a good drawing on the wall, it's about connecting the viewer with what I've poured my energies into that work. So it's like a middle, middle man to connect what I feel through the drawings to that person. And it's not about having just a, like a good drawing on the wall, it's, it's looking past that technical competence and being able to see a bit deeper and trying to relate yourself to that, to that particular person in that drawing. Um, I've always been quite arty, um, but as, I think as, as I got older, my passion for portraits really took hold and it just really engrossed me in something that captivates all my interests, really. Um, it takes rough, because I, I can't always focus on it. You have to leave it alone, otherwise you'll make mistakes and you have to go back with it with fresh eyes. So roughly about a month, I think, before university, actually, but I've been a bit lazy where I've just been drawing with friends and um, choosing people that are close around me. But what I really like to do is just go out and about um, and find people that are quite interesting, um, that are visually people can think, well, he's got, he's got a bit of a story to tell, or maybe like a face with tattoos or face with a big beard or something, just so it stands out a bit more. Because it, again, it's not about showing technical competence, it's about showing who they are as a person, just in the realm of through a drawing. Um, I won the National Open Art um, Visitor's Choice Award, which was a thousand pounds. People came in to view the exhibition, um, could vote for their favorite work, and then I won that one, which was quite good. Um, my favourite artist is Kelvin Okafor. Um, he is an amazing portrait artist and I look up to him pretty much in every way because his work is just beautiful. In every sense, he's doing everything right. Oh, definitely, I've, I've got so much to learn. Um, so the study of artists like myself who are doing the same sort of similar thing. So it's the study of what they're doing, asking questions, getting involved with who they are um, and just being able to relate and just generally keep learning. I think the one I'm working on at the moment is really good for me because it's, I, feel, I feel like I've jumped to the next level with this one. I'm, I can see visually how much I've improved, um, especially on this one. But my favourite ever drawing I've probably done was a homeless chap I met when I was on BBC One, The One Show. Um, and it was a very interesting character and story behind that guy. And I just feel like there's, there's so much emotion in his eyes um, in that particular drawing. And then it seems to get a very good response from people. I don't think I could get my work out there to the audience that see it without Instagram um, because people check back my page for updates on drawings and stuff so it's, it's really good to get that drawing stuff out there via Instagram because otherwise it, I just have to rely on uh, galleries and stuff and that's so difficult to get into so it's a massive platform. Competitions I enter are, for me at the moment is the only way I can get a bigger audience so Without competitions that I enter, there's, there's not really anywhere I could put it because at the moment I'm not good enough to be selling drawings high level or for an expensive price. So National Open Art, uh, the Mall Gallery's open exhibitions, they have um, all are very important to get your work out there and show it to people. And it's very proud to get work involved with that stuff.